The holidays are sure going to look different this year. Fewer get togethers, more at home celebrations. Chef David Rose has some thoughts on how to keep that different looking holiday season stress free. And who doesn't want that? Chef David, so we know that the holiday season is looking a little different this year. Maybe less traveling, maybe no traveling for some of us, smaller get togethers. What else should we be expecting to see this holiday? Yeah, you hit the nail right on the head. The holidays are certainly going to look a little different this year. Uh, according to a new Harris poll on behalf of Omaha Steaks, Riso happens to recently join as the executive chef, so super happy about that. So according to the poll, more than half of Americans are planning celebrations with five or less this year. And a third of Americans are considering a Zoom given. So you could join up via Zoom and share that same love of food and cooking, but a little further away, but still feel together. My top tip is to stay prepared for anything and anyone, whether it's an unexpected guest, a full-blown holiday dinner, or another extended stay at home. So I always like to keep my freezer stocked with goodies from Omaha State. Ah, see, that's clever. Now, so some of us might be doing, you know, the holiday meals on our own for the first time, mm -hmm. things, again, looking super different. Um, and that can be daunting, I know firsthand. So uh, any tips for us to get ahead of it, like you were saying, and, and maybe prep some stuff in the kitchen? Yeah, uh, the turkey Thanksgiving Day dinner could definitely be daunting for a lot of people. So you want to always be prepared and be ready. And Omaha Steaks has you covered. Whether it's our 10 pound basted turkey, which is in a brine that it comes pre brined. So it has a brown sugar, it has honey, it has salt. And what that does is add flavor, juiciness, and add to the color of that skin. The number one mistake I think I hear all the time is not allowing the turkey to thaw out enough. With the 10 pounder, you want to give it at least three days. But for bigger turkeys, rule of thumb is 24 hours per five pounds. And what that's going to do is thaw the turkey out to its optimus, you know, the optimal doneness before ready to being thrown into the oven. But if you want to get that crispy skin that I think we all do, you want to add an additional 24 hours on that roasting wrap uncovered. That's going to dry the skin out and give you that crispy, delicious, golden brown turkey skin every single time. The day of Turkey Day, I think a lot of people are kind of, you know, high stress, high anxiety. So to get rid of that and kind of curb some of that anxiety, feel free to do the turkey the day before. You cook that turkey to that optimal 165 doneness. You let it rest. And what resting is going to do, it's going to allow those juices to redistribute into the turkey and keep it pork tender. You then allow it to cool down completely. You carve the breast, you carve the wings, the thighs, the legs, and you put that into the fridge. That way, the following day, all you gotta do is focus on appetizers, sides, and desserts, and just pop that turkey back into the oven and slice and serve. Oh my gosh, my jaw is just on the floor. Okay, so that's the next level <laughs> My jaw's here <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, so now that you've told us how to make the main course really stand out, how about some suggestions for um, other steps? Yes, definitely. Um, what I really think is surf and turf. Who doesn't like surf and turf? It really kind of classes up everything, and it's just delicious. We have some really, really good through the roof lobster tails, and who's gonna say no to lobster tails? Do you have right. that? Maybe a spiral sliced ham hot roast, my personal favorite, bone-in prime rib, and you have your sides, your mix and match sides and appetizers and desserts that can also be purchased on Omaha Steaks. And one of my favorite desserts, you gotta get it, is a caramel apple tart. When I say delicious, I say that with an exclamation point. Actually, three exclamation points. <laughs> and if you wanna really kinda up the game, wine. Wine makes any party or any gathering exceptional. We have a really great partnership with wine.com, so you can buy these food and wine packages, and it also makes a great gift. You know, crackers, cheese, dried meats, wine. What more do you need? I love everything you're saying. I think we could be very good friends. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely came to the FS if you didn't, if you didn't, catch <laughs> if you didn't pick up on that. <laughs> oh, well, so 2020 has been a year. How, how are you planning to ring in the new year when it finally gets here? Yes, 2020 has definitely been a year, and I think everybody wants to welcome with open arms 
2021. So what I'll be having is a delicious bone-in tomahawk ribeye, uh, probably a bottle of wine, a bourbon, some lobster tails, and just have it with some close friends and relatives and ring in the new year the right way with meat and libations. So, you know, it's a win-win on both sides. Oh, heck yeah, man. Happy New Year to you. Well, where can we go if we're starving now and want to find more info? Yes, for everything I've talked about and more, just shoot on over to omahasteaks.com. We've got you covered. Thanks, Seth. You're welcome. Happy holidays.